I suppose it's a good time to ask you, what are your other, what are your influences, Kathleen? What influences you as a designer? Well, I guess I'd say my influences are, are everywhere. You know, I think, you know, the, the natural environment for colour, like you, 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 obviously you can't beat it. So I think it's important to, you know, when I'm walking around, I'm fortunate enough to live in a really beautiful part of the world. So it's great to walk on the beach and, or walk in the new forest and get inspiration for colour there. But I also um, look at a lot of magazines, look at design books, um, go to London, go to art exhibitions, go to, you know, walk down Bond Street, look in fashion shops and film and theatre. So I guess it's, so it's kind of yeah. everywhere, really. You've actually got some slides now, which Kathy's chosen, which gives examples of her influences, but perhaps you could talk us through these, Kathy. There's an artist called Agnes Martin, who she's a, an American minimalist artist. And I think what I like about her is her just her really understated use of colour and if you see her paintings in real life then she's she's just got such a delicacy of line and and again if you're going to add pattern why not just do something very simple like that but something that doesn't look mechanical I mean that doesn't look mechanical because it, it's been hand done so mm -hmm. um, you know I guess I guess that's why I like her so that's another one of hers Again, when you see it in real life, just the delicacy of the line of the drawing, I just find incredible. And that's actually a really beautiful indigo colour. So if you could produce a piece of fabric, like a linen, for example, you know, rather than having a big floral print on linen, why not just have something that's a very, very delicate line, um, you know, like that, like that. Okay. Again, just a very subtle stripe, but I like the way the colour fades in and out in the stripe. I, I, I think what we we'll always try to do is just to make something that looks natural rather than homogenous or mechanical looking. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's my, you know, my reason for liking hers. Okay. Just more. another one again, you know, just a beautiful, subtle stripe. That's again another American um, minimalist artist called Bryce Marden. Again, this doesn't really show it, but if you're looking at one of his paintings, then he uses oil paint, but he, he turps it down and he builds up layers and then he um, sandpapers away the layers. So you just have these lovely soft wash effects. And I, again, I, it's just, it's the delicacy of, it's the delicacy of the, of the layering and the simplicity of the design, you know, we, I, I think something, I mean, not necessarily that, but, you know, you could take that as an idea for producing a pattern that, again, could sit in a, in a contemporary or a mm. traditional setting. These, again, you can't really see the colour that well, but these, there's a series of fashion images now where I just, in the, the original images that the colour They're absolutely beautiful, is which doesn't absolutely show you. stunning yeah. and, and you know and the, there's there's beautiful soft greys in the background and soft pinks which I suppose aren't dissimilar to the colouring for our silk wool palette so I guess you know all of these it's just it's the delicacy of them like I said unfortunately the slides don't show them to the best um, And then again, the, these are just um, these are just a few shots from a Collectione Trends magazines. But I always think that you know that again, it's just the relationship between the texture and the yarn and the uh, you know and the colouring. And then finally, this is I just I just thought this was a very beautiful garden because it's a very natural looking garden. Unfortunately, I haven't actually seen it because it's it's an artist called chilled Hassam and he has a garden in America and that's um, but I just love the natural quality of it I suppose and, and then that's Cezanne's um, garden in Aeon Provence and again even though there's a formal quality to it it still has a lovely natural natural look to it and, and then that is a field of very beautiful looking flowers but that is actually um, flax yarn and f flax 
flowers from okay. which you make linen. So, so that is the linen. Great, thank you. I suppose, could we just summarise by saying, wait, can you explain what Fox Linton fabrics are to you? Um, I suppose, you know, as, as I've said, I just think it, it is about trying to create the most beautiful quality, trying to make something that's very natural looking, um, very sophisticated and, and elegant looking. And, and again, something that is timeless and will still be here in 15, 20 years time, which, and look great, which for me would, you know, is something of a, an achievement in, um, you know, the, the throwaway culture of our time. Great. Kathleen, thank you very much. That was fascinating once again. Thank you.